can you describe what you built? We've already started? Yeah, whenever you want. Okay, okay. Um, so what we built is a Fourier transform drawing machine. And what it does is it allows us to specify coordinates on the screen and draw it uh, manually. And then it would replicate that shape to its best ability uh, with the limited frequencies it has. Um, also, we, with that Fourier spectrum, with those coefficients, we can also output uh, in sine waves what that shape sounds like. Um, we also made it so that we could morph from one shape to another, and we can see a real-time change, and the sound would change accordingly, too. I think that's that is kind of the basic interactions. Also, we could um, choose what spectrum we want to kind of add onto to kind of see from the current shape we have, if we alter a particular amplitude for a frequency, what that would do to the shape itself. Um, okay. So, I guess we could take a look at the screen. Sure. I think we can start from lights. something simple. Lights off. Oh yeah, maybe we'll turn the lights off. That might make okay. it a little more visible. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks good. So let's just start from something simple. Let's just draw a circle. So you're just clicking a bunch of points. Yes. On the screen. Trying to draw a kind of perfect circle first. You right click, you can just stop the drawing. And as we can see, it's pretty close to a circle, and you can see the X spectrum and Y spectrum only involves pretty low frequency sound right here. So, so by clicking, you've specified a series of points and you specified the order to traverse those points. Yes. And then you're running an algorithm that's... Analysis the uh, input points, and then get the coefficients on X and Y, and then you reprint it, use uh -huh. FFT uh, for drawing to reconstruct this. So it's, it's doing a Fourier analysis to figure out which frequencies of sine waves and at which amplitudes to sum those sine waves in order to approximately traverse the path that you've drawn. Yes. Since in this case that's approximately a circle, this is showing pretty much a pure frequency in the x direction and pretty much a pure frequency in the y direction. Those are about the same frequency. Put a square up there. So we can morph it into a square. Square is not so smooth as a circle, so as we can see that some frequencies are involved in the spectrums. The frequencies of third harmonic, fifth harmonic. Sure. Yeah. Because you have those sharp way. corners. Yes, yes. Very cool. And we can even draw something with like with distinct frequencies on X spectrum and Y spectrum. spectrum is the first harmonic and the highest frequency in Y spectrum is the fourth harmonic and it corresponds to that on on the x-axis you just have to move right and you move back but for Y you have to move four times faster than X to draw this picture so that Y spectrum consists of a higher frequency sure and other than that we can also add some specific frequency 
in this figure. Say, let's add something like change. In the x axis, we can x at, at some frequencies on the 20th harmonic. And it will look like this. Because we can hear that a very high frequency sound is involved in just in the sound because we cannot really tell whether X or Y it is, but we can see that there are lots of wiggles on the X, X direction. We can also add something in Y as well. So put a tenth harmonic in Y. Okay. Y has that. Okay. So, did you put 20. it on the 20th? Yes. So let's make that zero, zero. So this would be the wiggle on Y. Mm -hmm. Sure. We can see here's a little bit mm -hmm. amplitude here. Yeah. Wow. Can you make the amplitude bigger? Sure. On the Y direction? Yeah. Okay. oscillations. Yes. Wow. And whenever we're changing or morphing or do a redraw, the HPS is responsible for the analysis and sent the coefficients to the FPGA and FPGA is responsible for the audio synthesis okay. and making the sound output. So could you could you show us another morph where maybe it's, you just click some really weird, complicated Morphing. shape? Draw some very complicated shape. Just kind of click around, sort of chaotically. <laughs> very good. Cool. this back to something approximating a circle? That's really cool. I was, I was paying attention that time to the spectrum indicators and you could see it became a pure tone. Really neat. I believe if it was a smaller circle, it would actually shrink as well. Okay. Um, I wonder what it looks like to morph a circle into a circle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you actually listen to your, those two audio like separately, you can hear really low tone and really high tone separately. Mm -hmm. So you're sending X to one speaker and Y to the other speaker? Yes. And actually, since it doesn't move a lot on X axis, so the X spectrum is pretty mm -hmm. small. Yes. More back to a square now.
That was yeah, cool. It kind of expands. Look at that fold. Very nice. Very nice.